Hey guys, Johnny and Lawrence back for the next episode of Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode. Hello. Uh, so in between episodes, the main thing we've probably done is we upgraded our upstairs platforms. So we're, we got into Astral Sorcery at the tail end of last episode and made the Astral Tome. And we just want somewhere to actually get started on Astral. So we figured up high was good because Astral Sorcery is quite dependent on Starlight. Yeah, Starlight. And we thought we'd try out a bit of a different flavour, maybe with some stained glass and fill it in with some grass just to make it look a bit more, you know, outdoorsy. Mm. <laughs> Rather than just floating white islands. Yeah, I, I think it looks quite nice. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. They are a bit bigger platforms because some of the Astro Sorcery stuff is big. <laughs> yes. Um, Lawrence also worked on some new tools for us. Mm, just one or two. Um, I made us each a new bow and some arrows and I upgraded your pickaxe, I believe. You did, yes. Yes. I, does that mean yours was already upgraded? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, okay. So, if we have a look into the quest book for Astral Sorcery, we've already done the Astral Tome, which is the, like, book. Um, and we also got the Aquamarine and Rock Crystal quest last time, just because we'd already mined some of them up. Um, the next one that probably makes sense to start on is Star Metal. So, this is kind of like one of the base ingredients for a lot of Astral Sorcery stuff. And there's a few ways we can get it. If we had the ore, which I do not believe we do. Um, or maybe we do. do I, I don't you know. Check the system. I've not checked the system, but I do so, feel like we have stardust. Do we not? We don't have stardust. Wait, why did we, I think we had stardust? I, I have no idea. I, <laughs> I think I was mistaken the star, uh, the essence sky stone. Dust, maybe. Uh, okay. okay. Should so, I go smelt some of this then? Smelt some of what? The star metal. Oil. Oh yeah, if we got some, crack yeah. on. That's that's pretty good. Um, so while Lawrence is doing that, the next quest line is astral sorcery structures, um, and this is just a checkbox quest. So it says you can find astral sorcery structures mostly in Landia dimension. You can find some random loot in them, some constellation paper, and also some rock crystal in the middle of the larger structures, which will help you get started. So let's check that. And actually, while Lawrence is working on the star metal ore, I did go to Landia and try and find a few of these astral sorcery structures. So thankfully our like spawn over here is already in a structure. So I'm just going gonna go ahead and loot these so we can we can steal the floating crystals I believe no that says not harvestable maybe we need to use that where it is but it still could be handy we yeah. can't harvest any of them but what they do have is they have chests so these have constellation papers and you'll see as soon as they went into my inventory they actually got assigned something so I memorized a Vetus and Visio so th these will play an important role in actual sorcery, like um, crafting, crafting sort of, don't really know the right term. Um, so in these bigger structures you can find them by just mining down into the like hidden room. Um, there is also smaller astral sorcery structures which conveniently we also have one right here. And what you want to do here is just mine under the pillars and if you get lucky one of them has a I don't know what's killing me. Something I is killing me. I had explosions as soon as I started. Yeah, there's explosions for some reason. Oh, uh, wow. Zombie crab man, maybe? Another mm. five papers in this one. So you'll see, uh, even though I picked up five, like two of these say there is nothing here, but the other ones all have a constellation assigned. That's because when you start Astral Sorcery, you only have, there's only a few constellations you know about off the bat and then you've actually got to progress further in the mod before you can uncover the rest of them. I think in total there's 12? 15? Constellations? I, I honestly can't remember. Uh, there's a few. There's, there's a few but uh, the five to get going will be like 
you know, sufficient. So I'm just going to go ahead and loot the last few of these that I've placed out, and we'll be back in a second. See you in a bit. So we're back from Landia, and we managed to get a fair few of these Constellation papers. I think, uh, what's that, 18, 19, 20 in total? It's quite so, a lot. Yeah, I think that's more than enough for for what we're going to need. Actually, if I give you these, will they stay learned? And you won't need to learn them as well? Um, Hopefully. Possibly. So you've Division. given me Avitus, Vesio, Amaro, Decidio, and Visio. Maybe. Hopefully. I just chucked them in the system again. Um, <laughs> but as long as they're showing up for you, I think that's the main thing. Yes. Um, so if we go back to the... Qu oh, you made the star mail. Yes. I did not realize that. <laughs> that is nice. Well, we got our quest complete, I guess. Okay, so now we need to move on to making the luminous crafting table. Um, so if we have a look in the Astral Tome, that'll tell us a bit more about it. So using a regular crafting table to interact with the starlight emitted by the Shrine Crystal, which you have named Collector Crystals, due to how the Gather Starlight seems to be inefficient. The table is only able to contain a small amount of starlight from the crystal. Not only that, but the table must be very nearby the crystal, or the collective starlight rapidly bleeds out from it due to wood being inefficient for this purpose. The luminous crafting table solves both issues perfectly by being made of the purest marble. It is able to absorb and retain a much larger amount of starlight than the crafting table. Also, it does not require a connection to a collector crystal to collect starlight at all, as it has its own receptable receptacle built in. So, this is quite an easy recipe by the looks of things. I think we should be able to just make this. Let's find out. <laughs> what is it that you need to craft? The Luminous Crafting Table. Oh, okay. It looks yep. like the mod... Have you already done it? Yep. Oh, okay. I was going to say it looks like the mod author has put in two recipes for it. One that uses Starlight and one that doesn't. Yeah. Yep. We can try the one that uses Starlight if you're... No, interested. it's just in case you got stuck. Yep. Just keeping an eye out for you. You're just too kind. So I think we can actually probably go up and put this on our platform. So... Wait. Which one do we want to claim for Astral? North. Let's go north. Sounds good. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Have you not just <laughs> created a load of spawnable space? Probably. Actually, oh. no. No. Those torches none. must just all overlap perfectly. Yeah. Um, so this is basically just like a normal crafting table, but you'll notice this bar at the bottom is the starlight like level. And depending on the time of day and stuff and where it is, that will be filled up differently. So down here, we have zero starlight. So that's one of the reasons we built it up so high. Why is everything blowing up all the time? I don't understand what's blowing everything up. Oh, that's cool. There's meteors. Oh, mm, it does look pretty. Pretty. wonder if that's pretty enough. <laughs> um, anyway, where were we putting this? We were putting this north, I decided. So pop it down here again and you'll see it does actually have a full starlight bar. So that's perfect. Um, next, I think probably we want to make the resonating wand. So when you do crafts in this, essentially you put in the items like normal, like a normal crafting table, but then you have to right click it with this resonating wand. So it makes sense to me that we would do this, I think. Yeah. I think so. Resonating wand. And I think I've got enough stuff to make two because I figured you might want one. Yes, please. Oh. How do we make the first one? Because <laughs> because you need to... Oh, we can make it in a normal crafting table. Okay, so there is the problem with that is that <laughs> you need to right click it with one of those to actually craft. So we'll just make it in a regular craft table if I'm allowed to take it. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. There's two, so I should have just left one in the system. There's yours. Thank you. Resonating wand complete. What, what next? Starlight relays. So this isn't very helpful in the quest book, but from memory, if you 
starlight relays can be used to enhance sort of the starlight collection abilities. Oh, we've got a new section in the book now as well. Exploration. Let's see if relays are in here. They are not. What about in the new exploration section? Yeah, spectral relays is what they're actually called. The Fosic Resonator can find fields of intense starlight. So this is another um, kind of one thing you can carry around and it emits like particles in the world when you're in an area of high starlight. So it's quite useful, especially in like overworld playthroughs where it's not a skyblock and you can wander around and find areas. Um, but yeah, the problem is that moving infrastructure or traveling vast distances to harness the starlight can be impractical as delving further into secrets of the ancient world doubtedly require increasing amounts of starlight. An alternative is an order. Yeah, say an alternative is an order until you can craft something to directly collect the starlight for yourself. I feel like that's again badly worded, but essentially. Is it, or is it just you suck at reading? Uh, as delving further into the secrets of the ancients will undoubtedly require increasing amounts of starlight. An alternative is an order until you can craft something to directly collect the starlight for yourself. Yeah, that sounds like a structured sentence. Does it? What, what does that mean? <laughs> it, it, it doesn't really make it clear that this is the alternative, I don't think. Maybe that's just me. It may be implied. It kind of implied. Um, I don't know. Should we make... Shall we make some of these to enhance our starlight? Maybe, is it worth it? I think we're probably good for starlight, but yeah, it's not gonna do any harm to have more I guess starlight. Not. So, spectral relays. How do we make you? So we need glass lenses, Ooh, which is made with starlight infusion. Or this really easy recipe, actually. Okay, let's do the really easy recipe, I think. Glass panes, we can easily get some of them. Uh, let's have a stack, and then we need aquamarine, uh, which I've already got on me, so that's perfect. Gold nuggets and planks. Gold nuggets. That's a pitiful amount of nuggets. There we go, let's get a stack of them as well. And planks, and I don't know if that's a specific kind of marble. I will need to check. Because Astro has like about 10 different types of marble. It does have a lot. Nah, it looks like it's just any kind. So now we'll actually get to use our new crafting table, which is nice. So I think that was just like that. Yep, and that's going to get us these lenses. And then we just need to whack it with the wand. And awesome. Yep, so that used up all the starlight. We're actually quite good up here because it's starting to get daylight and we've still got like a full bar at the moment. That's quite nice. It's quite nice. Oh, we're getting loads per craft. Yeah. Well, there we go. We got 16 of these. Uh, there we go. Running out of starlight now. Yeah. Are we going to have enough to do this craft? Uh, I forgot everything has to be done at night in Astro. <laughs> I'm just going to keep booping this and hope that we can get them all done. <laughs> Maybe we will. Well, we've got five. I think we're only going to put down four. So, but it's never going to do any harm to have extra of stuff. This is modded Minecraft after all. And now that I'm seeing that our starlight actually goes down during the day, these spectral relays will actually help with that. So it, maybe it has been worth like making these. Maybe. Probably. Ah, okay. So let's look at the book again for a second because we're going to have to make the the structure to go along with it. So I think, is there not a, another way that tells you what's actually in the structure? Ah, uh, yeah. If you hover over this little star, it'll say, so we need four chiseled marble, four marble arch, and one sooty marble. So let me go grab those things. And I'll be back in a sec. Hey guys. Um, so whilst Johnny has been working on the astral sorcery side of things, I have been working on making some jetpacks. Nice. Mainly because we're fed up with going into dimensions where you can't use creative flight, because that's really annoying. 
So I, flying's quite slow. <laughs> and flying is also quite slow. So off camera, I've got the stuff ready to make the first leadstone jetpack. It wasn't too bad. Um, pretty much stuff we've seen before. Leather strap is just some iron and leather. This uh, leadstone thruster, you need a dynamo for, but once you've crafted the MV capacitor, it's quite simple. Um, the only thing that doesn't autofill is the flux capacitor because uh, JEI stuff, but that should be the first jetpack done. So I've made one for me and I've made one for Johnny, and there yes. you go. So if I hold this, it should charge up. Is that any good, the first one? I don't know. Uh, allows flight when active. Uh, I should probably turn off creative flight to test this. That doesn't seem Ow, faster. No. And you take you take full damage. Yeah, I don't and... think you needed to turn off creative flight. Do you not? Well, you have to double tap to enable creative oh, no. flight. But yeah, that then the first tier is not very good, and you take full damage, and it's horrible. But I will be. I'll basically just be working my way through the jetpack tiers up until the resonant one. It's mm -hmm. pretty much the same stuff again. You need some of the um, enderium or electrum, etc. And you just need to make the corresponding thrusters. So if there's anything new, I'll come back. If not, I will just work my way through it. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I've actually got a bit further along with Astral now. So up at our luminous crafting table, you'll see we have these new structures. So just to show you what I've been doing, I'll build the last one on camera. But you put down the, this is the, for the spectral relays that we were talking about before. So you put down the suit in marble and then the marble arch on the cardinal directions and then fill in the corners with chiseled. So hopefully if we put these down, then we just pop the spectral relay in the middle, which I made a lot of previously nicely. And annoyingly, this is all spawnable space, so we will just light that up. Um, and what these do is nothing by default. Actually, can you sleep so that I can demonstrate this a bit better? Yep. So, because it's night time, our crafting luminous bar, whatever it's called, is filled. There you go. You'll see, like, it drops down now to just about half. So these relays aren't doing anything at the moment because you've got to put a lens on them. So that was at half there. And if we put this on, you'll see it all goes purple glowy. And if we look in here, now it's about more 75%. Pop that on there, goes up a little bit again. And if we put all four of these on, it basically means we can do all our crafting during the daytime as well now. So that's pretty nice. Um, as for where to place these, they'll link to the closest crafting table within a 16 block area. And the reason we've spaced them out so much is you get diminishing returns if the spectral relays overlap in a 16 block area. So these are about, I think they're 19 blocks apart, but less than 16 from the middle. So <laughs> it works out perfect, I think. Um, but moving on to the next one, Starlight Locator. Read the Astro Tome to learn more about this, basically. So the Fuzzic... Wow, we're not making that just now. What? I'm guessing oh, okay. they there's have multiple uses. Ah, okay. So there's the basic one and then the Domic one? No and idea. The Icosic one? <laughs> I don't know. We can't actually make any of these just now because we need liquid starlight, so we'll come back to that one. And the next thing we'll move on is the light barrel. So these essentially allow you to break down rock crystals and turn it into liquid starlight. So, and it's not actually called a light barrel, apparently. What is it called? A light well. Terrible quest names. <laughs> light well. Let's have a look at the recipe for that. Um, so I need some rock crystals, which I think we have in a reasonable abundance somewhere. I think we have a fair few. Yeah, I think we put them over in this storage crate. Yeah, we get, we, we got a couple. So 
how many of these should I make? Four? Four light whales? I guess. Sounds, sounds like, like a good number. Yeah, I think four seems like a good number. So let's see if we can craft some of these. I don't have any aquamarine. Ah, uh, because I gave them all to you. Didn't I? Did you? Well, I had a stack and then you made the lenses, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think you have them all. Yeah, and you put them back in the system, I guess. Ah, uh, well. But hopefully this should be nice and easy. And I should have really grabbed more rock crystals so I could actually use these light wells. <laughs> you don't want to bring up... Actually, do you want to bring up the storage crate? That would be very useful. Makes sense to be up here. Yep. And there is our first light uh... well. What's wrong? There's no upgrade in this that lets you keep the inventory. I thought you made the upgrade for it. Yeah, I thought I had two. Hmm. Oh well. Well, while you're bringing them up, I'm just going to pop this down for a second. And we should be able to just demonstrate. So actually, you'll notice that all these have stats, the rock crystals, and that's why they don't stack. So we probably want to get rid of the ones with the worst purity because that's the hardest stat to increase. But honestly, it doesn't matter that much, really. But yeah, if we pop that in there, you'll see it starts generating liquid starlight. And we can just pump that out into a barrel or something. So I think we're going to want to automate this, really. Actually, do you want to go through and take out maybe the best crystals? Uh, based on purity. Based yeah. on purity, I would say. Um, and... I'm going to go get some conduits and see if we can actually set up some kind of basic automation. So I, I think we're going to want to store it all in maybe one of these demonically gargantuan drums. Um, and then conduits. Let's see if we can get some item conduits and some pressurized fluid conduits. And I might grab a hopper just because it's often easier to test stuff with a hopper. Um, or I find it is anyway, because <laughs> I'm not sure what side you can put these in from and all that sort of stuff. So let's just make a second one to make my life a bit easier, um, because that one's got a rock crystal in it. And can you hop around to the top? Can we take that back out, actually? Honestly, no, no. idea. Okay, so yeah, it's probably useful to have a second one. So I think you put items in the top. Maybe. Nope. Can't put items in the top. Maybe in the side. Maybe you just can't put items in. I just assumed you can put items in. It seems silly that you can't. Yeah, let, let's be optimistic and assume that we can. So far, kind of feeling like a new. Oh. Oh, I'm having flashbacks of doing this before. I think you need a mechanical user. I was already going to grab one. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that'll work, but I'm kind of hoping that's like my next port of call anyway. <laughs> um, do I not have some form of wrench? Wrench, that will probably do the job. If I put the crystal in here, will it go in? Right click, place block, use item on block? Nope. Activate block. There we go. Activate block with item. How okay. many crystals do you think we need? I don't know, maybe save like 10. Oh, okay. What are you thinking? Yeah, 10 marks. I just pulled out all the ones above 50%. Mm. So I'll just go through and keep the best can ones. Can we not pull out fluids? Yes, you can pull out fluids from the bottom. So I guess where are we going to want to set these up? And yeah, they explode when they're finished <laughs> is another thing that I forgot. Actually, I'm being dumb. We don't need to do this. I forgot. So <laughs> you can put in crystals, rock crystals, but you can also put in aquamarine. And we actually have aquamarine essence. I hate you. So it's probably worth doing that. No, I mean, we do want to separate out the good ones anyway. I don't mind if we want to burn through those first, but, but I think I'm going to go try and find a place for these and set up some kind of rudimentary automation, and we'll be back in a second. So we have automated making liquid starlight, which is quite nice. So we've got 
five light whales going now. And we've got five users set to activate block with item. And then we've just got a barrel filled with aquamarine, which we can make from the essence because we have those seats and that reordered my inventory. But yeah, so that's nice and easy for us. Underneath, oh, is that you got our quest? Progressing yes. with the jetpacks nicely, I see. Got one more tier to do. One more, nice. So yeah, we've just set that to extract all the aquamarine, put it in the users, and then from the light wells, we've just set it to extract and go into the the light well, well, the demonically gargantuan barrel. And we've already got 27 buckets, which is quite nice. Um, I've also made this little area, and the reason for that is we can start grabbing some starlight, and I think that's a quest. It is. Let's start putting some of this down. So you can put it in the world, and I think actually starlight works really weird. It works like water, but goes like so fast. Um, can I put this down somewhere? Yeah, it's just like insane how fast it spreads. But <laughs> I don't think it does anything if you stand in it. No. I think it might give you night vision. Oh, uh, hard to tell. Oh, no, I do have night vision and my carrot has stopped working. So yeah, definitely does. That's nice. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and fill a few of these holes because what we can do now is take some of those rock crystals we've got and start improving them. So one of the stats, uh, so like, like I said earlier, they all have multiple stats, like for instance, size, purity, and cutting. And if we drop this into liquid starlight and don't have a magnet, that would be helpful. <laughs> Uh, let's see if I can try this without a magnet. <laughs> so, magnetize, turn off. And now, if I drop this in here, it it doesn't, you get some sort of part of particle effects, and I can't remember how long it takes. I don't think it's a crazy amount of time, but it will essentially absorb the starlight and get bigger. But I can't remember the current size, so we should probably check that. <laughs> so this is one, two, seven. So we just leave that in there for a minute and check back on it in a sec. But while that's going, the next thing we probably want to make is the grindstone. So the grindstone can be used to increase the sharpness of crystals. And that's, from memory, it's only really useful if you want to make um, tools out of the, the rock crystals. I think that's the only time sharpness really plays a... As an effect, is that right? I think so, yeah. Uh, I can't really remember, it's been a little while. Yeah, but it is still satisfying to get like a, a fully upgraded crystal. So, you know, we might end up doing that. But you have to be careful with the, the grindstone because you can grind one into nothing. So at the moment that says cutting 10 and purity 290. So if we pop that on there. Purity 290? I thought uh, was sorry, pretty, size, 290. Uh, so yeah, now we're at cotton 47, but you'll see the size is 69. I think if we do this a couple of more times, it's probably just going to break. Uh, what we are now, size 11. Yeah, you see, so you got to be careful. If you've got a good crystal, you do not want to grind it away. So here is the one we put in the liquid starlight. And now it's up to 252. And I think it was, what did I say, 127 or 117 or something like that. So I don't know. That is definitely a way you can go about upgrading crystals. I mean, this is our chest of kind of rubbish crystals. So it's probably pointless me doing it, but I just thought it was worth showing off. We might try and get some some upgraded crystals off camera because it is pretty much just chucking it in, waiting, chucking it in, waiting. We can maybe do some kind of rudimentary automation, but it's kind of tricky I don't think you can at least not easily why not um the way i've seen other people do it have been through integrated dynamics can you not just check if there's not like liquid there anymore pick up the thing and then drop it again yeah but how it will how do you know if the crystal is fully grown or oh you don't oh, i just mean oh me to like get the oh, size okay. up full like, I, I don't care that much um, but no, it's, it's a thing maybe, maybe we'll do, maybe we won't. So the 
Fuzzic Resonator. That should be nice and easy. I do need to get another bucket of Starlight, but easy enough. And let's see. Oh no, we need to need to right click it with the wand. I'm gonna keep forgetting that probably. <laughs> there we go. And I think uh, it's not gonna be very easy to see here. Maybe if I quickly pop to Landia, this will help. Or I'm completely forgetting what this thing's used for. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it shows like a measure of, like it all goes nice and glowy when you see an area with like high starlight potential. I think the ground turns like a bluey, yeah. starlighty sort of color. A bit like the, um, what do you call it? What Star the spectral metal. relays were going like. Hmm. Um, yeah, I have done enough quests. That is nice. Is that has got the the top tier jetpack now? It is. I'm wondering if they want us to make the armored versions as well. I would suggest if we're using the jetpacks, we make the armored versions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm I'm pretty sure that's what the point in this is, but. But I'm not going to fly around Landia forever when we kind of have all the starlight we need at the moment. <laughs> uh, but it is an interesting concept for the mod, I think. Um, but now that's probably... I should be you still working on the armor first and then we can have a tryout of the the things. Of the, the jetpacks. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, how hard are these to make? Mm -hmm. Uh, that looks complicated. I will oh. just pop them into charge for you. Oh God! Yeah, <laughs> that's that's just completely drained our charger. Yeah. Oh, to be fair, you have the like crazy speed thing on it. How much yeah. does it store? Oh, yeah. We don't have a battery, so that's going to be a big problem. Like we have no storage of. And we do have some storage. Like, come on, that's like no storage. Yeah, you could upgrade them, them to Enderium, to be fair. Could, yeah. That's probably a fair point. Yeah. Where are you? Me, I'm um, way up top. Okay. Uh, I will. Ah, it's alright. I'm, I'm good just now, if you want. Uh, okay. Well, it'd be better once it was fully charged or not. Like, I'm sure it drains through like a million RF, like, in seconds. It's like stupid, is it not? I don't know. Look, are you not even tried it yet? Not the highest tier, no. Why not? <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Give it a try. We. No, that does it, look a lot faster. It, it seems to be pretty good. It doesn't seem to be going down. It doesn't seem to be going down. Nope. Okay. Fair play. Is that because you're charging it at the same time for, with your flux capacitor? Or... Oh, maybe. Yeah, because it just went up to six <laughs> percent. Yeah. Hello. In fairness, if it's charging faster, that's a good thing. I think. I don't know how much faster these are going to be. No? Is it not fast go? Yeah, that's way faster, isn't it? Mm. I'm double pressing space by accident. Back. I don't know. But, um, so let's have a look on with the next quest line. So we got two options, I think. Yeah, we can do the, the telescope. The looking glass. Actually, you know, I'm more interested in getting the next tier. Tier, um. What's it called? Crafting table. So we can make the luminous crafting table? That's not right. What's it called? The starlight crafting altar. Ooh, sounds a bit posher now, doesn't it? Well, we need to get a few different kinds of marble for that. So tell you what, let, let me go grab the stuff for both things, actually. And we can just make them both at once. So what do we need for the looking glass? That is just another lens, which I'm kind of hoping we have. We don't? I thought you made a bunch of lenses. I thought I did. Yeah, I thought you did too. I thought I gave oh. them to you. I don't have any. If you did, they're gone. Oh, uh, you've probably used them. Cool. I've not used lenses for anything, I don't think. Like, short of the no, spectral areas, stuff. which I already yeah. had. No, I'd already made them, I never made any more. Yeah. I don't know. Weird. Um, I don't need two of those. Um, yeah, upgrading those energy cells has completely fixed that issue. Really? Yeah, apparently these store like 50,000 RF. And 
oh. the output enough that this doesn't go down. Well, okay. That's that's good to know. <laughs> yep. Um, so I get some more glass panes and some aquamarine. I can make some lenses. And then I really should have bookmarked the this as well. That'd be useful. Actually, let me bookmark both these things just in case I lose them. And do we have everything for this? Nope. Totally forgot to grab all of the stuff for that. <laughs> so, astral. Let's get a bit of all this marble, because we're gonna need it, probably. Well, that was really bad, that scroll wheel there. <laughs> Let's go back up, and we should should be able to make both these things, I think. No, we need to make the lens first. Totally forgot that. <laughs> lens. Boop. It does look really nice, all the effects in Astral, I think. Also, yeah. that, that like shattering noise every now and then is when it runs out of the Aquamarine. They like get destroyed and then a new one gets popped in its place. Um, looking glass. Boop it. I wonder if you can set up a user to just always right click this with the wand. Because I keep forgetting to like do this. Like, <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't. Actually, should we have a look at the looking glass? Is it dark enough? Can we? Mm. Kinda looks like we might have missed our chance a little bit. Oh, yeah. there we go, there's a constellation. So you see like the, in the foreground, they're sort of moving at a different speed, different speed? Yeah, I think that's right. Um, <laughs> that is a constellation, but I don't remember how you actually... I think if you press shift, Ah, yes. Unfortunately, it's just when daytime, and I can no longer see that. <laughs> so, we will do that tomorrow night, I guess. But we should be able to make this if I grab some liquid star metal. No. <laughs> liquid star light, whatever it's called. And a rock crystal. You gonna shift click in? It does. This is good. And the boopy thing. Boop. Nope. Boop. Nope. Why are you not booping? Boop. <laughs> oh, is it too light? I mean, like, we've got full... full bar. I feel like this should be fine. No. Oh. Okay, we might need to wait until tomorrow. Like, Minecraft tomorrow. <laughs> Which is kind of annoying. So, we'll wait until it gets to night, and we'll be back in a sec. <laughs> So guys, it's night time again, and also Lawrence has given us the jetpack, which is a bit faster at getting around. Well, mainly up and down. The noise is a little annoying, but um, apparently you can turn it off in the mod options, but it does not actually turn off, which is super annoying. <laughs> but it looks like we can now use our telescope. Oh, there we go. We have found a constellation. So... I, I can't remember what they all look at. So a couple of tips for Astral Sorcery is when you're in the book, rather than just right clicking, if you shift right click, you can actually store your constellation papers inside it, which is quite handy. And also at the right hand side, there's a constellations button, which shows you all the constellations you currently know about. And that might have actually been Decidia. I can't remember, what was that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. Was there eight points? Hmm, let's see if I can find it again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Hmm, maybe. So you just hold shift to stop it moving. And then I think, was this maybe how it looked? It was. So you just draw it out and then we've discovered Constellation Decidio. Which I can't, can't really remember usually what that means. But, uh... We should be able to see it in the sky from memory. I'm not seeing it. But once you discover constellations, you can actually see them in Minecraft. Like in the actual sky, but I am not having much luck. But also, hopefully, now that it's night time, we can upgrade our crafting table. And we can. Which kind of makes me feel like I've done something wrong. Hmm. So this says, made in a luminous crafting table, which we are, with liquid starlight, 
chiseled pillar chiseled pillar pillar that all looks good and a rock crystal maybe huh. if you have you tried pooping you yeah I've pooped it 20 times hmm also I totally made you a present did you what is this portable oh that's so nice Thank you. And that's a bauble. Yep. So so that will just completely mute all the... Wow, that's way faster. No? I feel mm. like that's way faster. That is yeah. so much better. Oh, okay. So I'm going to figure out why this isn't working, because maybe it wasn't just a nighttime thing, and we'll be back in a second. <laughs> so hopefully third time's the charm. So I was looking through the book... And it looks like for the next tier, we actually need a structure. I didn't think you had to make it before the table, but... Yep, okay, no, you totally did. It is working this time. With some pretty cool animations again, I would say. Some particles and lots of glowy lights. Seems to be taking a second, but it is, I think, doing something. I guess it needs a lot of... Um... Starlight. Oh yeah, there we go. And then we got these four extra corner bits. Yeah, I guess so. Um, and we've also learned attunement, which is a new chapter in the book. So that's all pretty nice. And then we can get to the next crazy one, which has a, a bigger platform again. So that's good. <laughs> but, uh, but I think we've probably actually progressed quite well this episode so let's have a, a quick flick through the quest book we got quite a bit of astral sorcery i'd say um and i'm guessing also some stuff for the jetpacks which is nice and our four there um i don't oh i forgot yeah we totally finished lordcraft last time that's nice <laughs> i i do like seeing the tech next to the the chapters so that's another 60 rack that's not too bad but yeah so we've we've got an astral sorcery, we've got some liquid starlight automated, we've got up to the next tier of crafting altar. I think next time when we come back, we're just going to be prog blah, progressing on with astral sorcery and seeing how far we can get. And these new jetpacks are so much nicer. Do look a bit weird, but, <laughs> but as always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll be back soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.